Hello, this is Dave Dio, Product Support Engineering Manager at Arcom Digital. Today, I want to demonstrate the Navigator Plus buffer and its associated alarms. Simply put, if you hear three consecutive beeps, you have a buffer issue that requires your attention before losing any collected leakage data. First, let's look at a couple of Navigator Plus settings. Make sure both Auto Start Stop and Auto Detection Profile are turned on. This will allow you to collect leakage data without any of your attention unless your buffer becomes active. Start your truck or manually power the Nav Plus on. Because Auto Start Stop is set to on, the Nav Plus will automatically connect to your Wi-Fi device, the ARCOM server, and begin collecting leakage data. If, after this point, you lose your Wi-Fi or your server connection, the NAV Plus buffer will begin to store all leakage data. The buffer can hold one hour's worth of data. For this demonstration, I'm using time lapse to speed the video process. On the left side of the screen, you can see the buffer bar. As the buffer collects data, the buffer bar will grow. After 30 minutes of collecting leakage data, the buffer bar will turn yellow and the NAV Plus will beep three times. This is to get your attention to resolve the Wi-Fi or the server connection issue. After 45 minutes, the bar will turn red and beep three times again. This means you have 15 minutes of buffer space left. At 55 minutes, the entire screen will turn red. Now you have five minutes to fix your Wi-Fi and server connection issue. If you attempt to turn the power off any time the buffer contains data, the power down screen will turn red and the Nav Plus will beep three times, alerting you that if you continue the power down process, you will lose buffered data. The correct response is to select no, return to detection mode, and fix your Wi-Fi and server connection issue. If you turn your truck off, the normal power down screen will turn red and the nav will beep three times, again to alert you that you're about to lose data. The correct response is to turn your truck back on and resolve your Wi-Fi and server connection issues. When Wi-Fi has been reestablished and the nav plus is able to reconnect to the server, the buffer will begin to transfer its data to the server automatically. In less than a minute, the buffer should be empty and you can power the NAV Plus down or turn your truck off normally. 